So listen, most of us spend about 10 to 20 bucks on Halloween candy for our trick-or-treaters, but there is a Frisco dad sparing no expense and spending a lot of time making sure the kids in his neighborhood have a very special night. You love people like this. Mm -hmm. CBS 11's J.D. Miles is in the 9200 block of Santee Lane in Frisco to show you what Santee insanity is all about. You know, I don't say this often, but this is going to blow you away. A homeowner here in Frisco is taking Halloween to a whole new level by building and staffing a first-rate haunted house. The corner house on Santee Lane offers a lot more than candy come on, come on. to brave trick-or-treaters. You okay? No. <laughs> I, I, I'm still catching my... Like Riley Cox and Zana Osborne. <laughs> that was scary. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm shaking right now. <laughs> they did a great job. That was really we good. Did. The Frisco teenagers are among the hundreds who lined up tonight outside the home <laughs> of Rick Montgomery. My goal is this, a long line that people want to go to and they want to tell their friends about. The 43-year-old father of three has eight rooms of gloom built around his West Frisco home. <laughs> featuring costumed actors, 3D horror scenes, and even a neighbor playing party music across the street. Really lucky I've got a lot of super cool neighbors. It started six years ago when the Montgomery's were just jumping out of their bushes to scare people. Now it's a $20,000 three night extravaganza. And you don't even want to know the number of man hours it takes to build. Thousands, it's mostly me. I work on it all year. I start building um, exterior stuff, mostly in the backyard, in late June or definitely early July. <laughs> I think it's fun. I think it's crazy and I think it's fun. We kind of plan parties around this. It's a Halloween treat for everyone, thanks to a father who works his fingers to the bone, just so others can experience spine tingling chills and thrills. I think, Incredible. I think it's so cool. Like, it's so cool because it's like, it brings the community together and it's just like your great way. I just like seeing everybody happy. It's, it's fun. The best part is there's no fee, but donations are accepted, and a portion of it, we are told, will go to the Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund for Wounded Veterans. I went through the house, and I have to say it's as scary and professional as any haunted house I've survived. In Frisco tonight, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.